This game is full of bugs! Get it? Because... Ugh. Actually, this is kind of a glitchy game. They fixed a lot of the really serious problems, but there's still stuff in there. Anyway, this is one of the best game apps I've come across. It feels more like an experience than a game. The artwork is gorgeous, the animations are fun, and the music is soothing. The point of the game is simple. Collect butterflies from all over the world and learn all about them as you level them up. All of the butterflies available in Flutter Sanctuary are based on real species, even the ones that look way too fantastical to be real. I find myself looking up pictures of the real things just because I want to know more, and any game that encourages learning is alright by me. Now when the game was first released, that was pretty much all there was to it, but they've added so much to the gameplay, including a frog who gives you attract flowers if you feed it, and a bird that will send your butterflies out on missions for all kinds of rewards. It's worth noting that unlike a lot of free games built around in-app purchases, this one has a relatively steep learning curve. Instead of giving a lot of rewards out very quickly, everything is not obvious right away, and the game rewards patience and discovery. But the developers do still need to be paid, and this was a free app, so it's going to push the in-app purchases. And every once in a while, something will happen to force the players into making those purchases. These are the special events, which release several limited edition butterflies and promise bonus rewards if you complete the set within a certain time frame. It's a completionist's nightmare. This is my biggest issue with the game. Every time one of these special sets is released, I feel stressed and rushed to collect all the butterflies and get all the rewards before time runs out. The most frustrating thing is that when I first downloaded this app, it was the most relaxing game I had ever played. But now, it's become the most stressful. There are entire sets I haven't even started yet because I live in constant fear that as soon as I do, a new limited edition set will come along and I won't have any room for it. I love the concept, I'm just not thrilled with the execution. Three and a half stars out of four. This game is so close to being perfect, but it just isn't there. In fact, it gets farther and farther away from that every day. And again, what it all boils down to is a great concept, beautiful artwork, and engaging gameplay that did not deserve to be released as a freemium game.